Happy Friday. We have a couple more assignments until it's time for the weekend. I'm so pumped for you to get these assignments done. Looking forward to seeing 20 assignments from every single fifth grader by the end of the day today. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you so we don't have to waste any time. We can get these CER responses going. Question number one, PDN. What is the purpose of propaganda? I'm helping you out by giving you a sentence starter. You should have said the purpose of propaganda is to convince or persuade people? That is the answer, to convince or persuade people. Reviewing the expectations for Friday's assignment. Question or expectation number one, watch this video. Good job, not gonna name drop today, guys, because I want you to focus on the CERs. Two, answer each question correctly and on topic. Focus on what the question's asking and make sure you're on topic when you answer it. Question three, each answer must be a C-E-R response. Do you understand these expectations? You should have said yes. If not, you should have went back and reread the expectations. Then, oh, I am not playing games. I'm double checking. Do you understand that each answer must be a C-E-R response? You should have said probably, duh, or all of them. Of course I understand that each answer has to be a CER response. You said it multiple times, Mr. Townsend. Here are your questions. Question number one, how do politicians use propaganda to spread a message? You're answering in a CER response. Here are your sentence starters right down here below. Use these sentence starters to help you. Wait, Mr. Townsend, where are my sources? Good question. They're all right here. Here are all of the sources that we looked at. Any of these can be used. Question number two, how can propaganda be used in a negative way? Think about some things we've spoken about. How can propaganda be used in a negative way? Propaganda can be used in a negative way by, according to the text or image blank, it says, this tells me, if you're using your evidence as a picture or an image, you need to explain to me what the image shows that backs up your answer. So you'd say, according to this image, it shows blank. When you are done with those two CER responses, you're gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna put another checklist down here, guys, just so that you make sure you have a CER response. You're gonna click submit, and then you're gonna make sure you finish ELA science and math work completely, and then you'll be good to go for your weekend. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will see you next week on Monday.